We glorify, we honor, we praise you in this atmosphere. This place is yours to do exactly what you want to do today, Lord oh God, in Jesus' name. So therefore, I acknowledge you in the midst of this great congregation, and this is your ability and not mine. This anointing shall be used to destroy yokes and move burdens. The glory shall be given to you untouched, that's in Jesus' name. For the Spirit, Lord God, rest upon me. For you know what I mean, preach the gospel to the poor, you sit and heal the broken heart, and preach the to the captive, come sight to the blind, heal those who bruise the heart, and preach the stuff of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, declare the day of the Lord's vengeance. So Lord, I thank you that you place in my mouth the words of prosperity for your people who spent radical increase. Yes. Was in Jesus' name, we are excited and we believe. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. I, I'm so glad, you know, God look out for God. I, I, my, my spirit wasn't right this morning. I had a lot of stuff. I was disturbed this morning. And a lot of stuff was trying to bother me. I felt rich witchcraft come up against me, all kinds of stuff. I was just fighting here, fighting there. Stuff was breaking in my office, and the computer wasn't acting right. I said, Lord, Lord, I said, you know, I'm going to rest you. Yeah. You know, the enemy tried to show you everything in front of you that ain't going right. But you forgot to look behind you, everything got to be for you, man. So we're going to keep on keeping up. Amen. So yes, whoever got to do this class is back on them now in Jesus' yes, name. God. Amen. Yes, God. Watch it, God. Hallelujah. So get your Bibles and your mobile device in your hands. Look them up high and read that. He said, This is my Bible. This is my Bible. It's my word of God. Word of and God. it's the living word of God. Word of God. It, says, it brings life to me. Life so I can do what it says I can do. I can do what it says I can be. I can be what it says I can be. And I can have what it says I can have. I say my life is better. I've done heard, spoken, and practiced this word of God. Now say devil, you are late. You are late. As always. Because we are believers. Amen. Amen. Sister Sam, thank you for allowing the Lord to use you. I'm going to bless you with a bag of sunflower seeds today. I tell you. Now I got sour patch. Okay, the books go that one on me today. All right. This morning we're going to talk about knowing Jesus and knowing you. Amen. And this, this is spent all from prospering in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. But we're going to talk about knowing Jesus and knowing you. You know, the Bible says this Jesus said, Who do men say that I? Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. If you children go into the youth ministry, I, um, administrators are there with their hands up. You can go ahead and be the excuse. Amen. Now, the Bible says that Jesus asked them, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? He didn't say who do men say that I am. He said who do men say I, the son of man, am? Some say you are um, Jeremiah or um, Isaiah or Elijah or one of the prophets. It's okay, I understand what they say. Now I'm asking, who do you say that I am? Amen. Only one person answered there, and that was Peter. Yeah. At the time, his name was called Simon Bar John. And Simon Bar John said, Thou art the Christ, Amen. and you are the Son of the living God. Well, yeah. I, he asked them all the same question. He didn't just ask Peter, he asked them all the same question. Yeah. But Peter yeah. got the revelation. <laughs> you be among a lot of people, and among Jesus, still, everybody will have the revelation on him. Amen. And it's powerful, and this blessed assurance that we have that today we all can tap in and know this revelation of Jesus Christ, who he is, because who he is is who he is to you, and once you know him, you'll know yourself. Yeah. And the Bible says that Jesus said, Simon Bar and John, the flesh and blood had not revealed this to you, our Father in heaven, he revealed this to you. So therefore I say unto you that you are no longer a, a shaky person, no longer Simon Bar John, you are now Peter, Petro, you are a portion of this revelation that you received from me. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. He said, I'm going to give you the keys. Yeah. Now, at, once he got that revelation and explosion to form, he learned of himself and he found out authority and access. Yes. Amen. Yes. And there's people who have not received what God has in store for them, first of all, but they haven't really had the true revelation of who he is. They know the, the revelation of the vision of the church and things. You need to know that. But first of all, you need to know the revelation of Jesus Christ, who he is and who he is to you. Amen. He's unto us all of us the same, but we've reached those revelations in different measures. Amen. And when we understand that, we begin to function in a capacity. So that's a capacity. capacity. That the world cannot stop. Yes. I asked God this morning, I said, Lord, what's up with Elon Musk? What's up with the dude? 
Talk to me about Elon Musk. What's, what, what, is he, what is his assignment? What is he doing? And what do we need to learn? What do we need to know about this one man with all this power? Amen. What are you trying to teach us? What are you trying to say? Well, how do we need to prepare ourselves? Don't look at the testing. Don't look at all those things. Look at what is God is doing or what's happening in this earth with this one man. Amen. Yeah. Are you saying what I'm saying? Now, if that could happen with that man, because the man that he received, what you think could happen with the rest of us? Mm -hmm. And we take time to know him, Jesus, yeah. to know yeah. us, who yeah. we are, to do what we can do, to yeah. know what a person can do more about yeah. knowing Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And this is so powerful. Now, what he does, we can do greater than that. Yeah. I'm talking about must, and also <laughs> must, and we can even do greater than Jesus. Oh, that's right. crazy. But Jesus said yeah. that. He said the works that I did. He said greater. you can do those also. He said that's on that. He said yeah. you can do greater. Yeah. 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 Now I'm not gonna let that slip away from me before I get to heaven. Right. I'm going to do greater works. I shall, I shall, I shall do greater works. Do greater works. Now, 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 see, the reason why God saved you, the reason why that song was saved, because the Bible said um, in Romans chapter 12, he said, I beseech you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God. Yeah. Okay? He said, I beseech you, therefore, brother, by the mercy of God, to present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to him for his reasonable service. Right. And the reason why you say, thank you, but God preserved you from what could have destroyed yes, you because there's a yes. service that he wants to Hallelujah. He kept thank you because there's something he wants you to do. Yes, thank you. And if you were not important to him, you would have the last, last year. Yes, yes. You would have survived those sickness and those surgeries and all yes. this attack about. Because God said, I still got a plan for your life. And I plan for you to prove what is good, acceptable, and my perfect will of God. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. That's thank why you. I preserve you. He said, that's why you didn't die. That's why you didn't starve, starve to death. He said, that's why I fed you, I clothed you, I kept your right mind. But there's something I want you to do. Thank you, God. This, thank you. More than just come to church. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I got a plan for your life. He said, but you won't know all that you can do until you know all who I am and what I can do through you. Amen. 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 That's just our appetite. Y'all ready to get into this? Yes. yes. Let's go here to the book of Acts, chapter 7, uh, Romans 10. <laughs> Sean got me going everywhere this morning. I tell you, with the Holy Spirit, I felt the presence of God. Yes, God. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Got some tears out here, boy. Hallelujah. Ooh, yeah. I, I, I wanted to go ahead and just throw down, but boy, when I started crying, I, I, I could look at the mirror. I scared myself, boy. I tell you. <laughs> hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Yes, boy. I tell you. See, when you get ugly, yeah. you cry, that's, that's when it's real. But yeah. you all Oh, Jesus. Oh, Come on, Romans 10 and in verse 2 he says for I bear them a record well let's start the first one for the sake of conversation brother he said my heart desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved delivered for I bear them record that they have a zeal of God but not according to knowledge for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness yes. have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Yes, God. Now, Paul is saying here they, they, they have a zeal, but they don't really, they're not doing it in alignment. Uh-huh. But you know, right now, we can praise God and get excited, and after that, we can go in and, and get off course. That's right, yeah. that's right. You know, so one portion doesn't cover everything else we're going to do for the rest of the day. Right. Or for the rest of our life. Right. Now, it's important. He said they have a zeal for God, but he said, but it's not according to knowledge. Right. He said, come in, he said be, if they knew the righteousness, they won't go about trying to establish their own righteousness. All right. Amen. 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 And so what people do is that they say, well, this is how I'm going to do. I'm going to, Lord, I feel your presence. And I love you, God, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh -huh. I'm going to serve you this way. God said, you can't tell me how you're going to serve. That's right. You can't tell me, you can't tell me that you can only believe you for just a little bit. And you can articulate it, but that's not the full, you're out of bounds. Uh, yeah, Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, you can even, you can say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it this way. When, when Jesus, and he took the three, including Peter, they went to the Mount of um, Transfiguration. And after he heard the voice of God, now Peter will come up with the idea that let's build a tabernacle. Mm -hmm. You follow me? And Jesus said, no, no, you don't need to do that. He said, because you're tripping and you're trying to establish your own righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. And see, something can happen and you will spring up and say, let's do it this way. God said, no, no, no. What you need to do is already over here. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's already in the bottle. Yeah. So you got to make sure it's lined up. No matter how good it feels on the inside of you, it got to line up with what's his righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And his righteousness is, you are his righteousness as well. And just because you made a mistake, that's, does not mean that you know all the righteous. Look, you've been stamped righteous. Oh, come on, come on. You can't tell a dog you are a, bat, you are a baboon. Mm -hmm. He's still a dog. Right. He can jump around like a monkey all he wants, but he's still a dog. Yes. Amen. No matter how many times you make the mistake, you are still righteous. Amen. So oh, don't go and try to fix it up with God and say, Lord, I repent. <laughs> I apologize. I confess. <laughs> you can't go, I'm going to cut all the neighbor's yard to get righteous again. No, you can't because that's your righteousness. Yeah. He said you were righteous while you was in your condemnation. You just talked yourself out of your position. Amen. Amen. But see, the reason why we do that because we don't know Jesus as we should know him. Come on, if you don't understand the blood that was shared for your Come sins, on, for yesterday, today, and yeah. forever more, yeah. yeah. you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You understand, let me just pick up where I left off, and let me keep on moving on, let the devil know I owe you nothing, and I owe no man nothing but the love yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on, love the devil. Come on, love the brother. Amen. Yeah. And you can keep on keeping on. You keep on moving. But you fail to go forward if you fail to know him who loved you. Yes, right. yes. Know him. Hallelujah. And once you know him in, in, in the, the depths of his love, you will go to so many heights. Like, you know, I was talking to Mr. Gail Braxton on the phone the other day. I said, let me tell you something. I said, I got a, a reality of, of God's kingdom uh -huh. on the inside of me to the point it makes me cry. My God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm talking about the reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Cause it's that real on the inside. But I could not, I can't know that just by me reading. Uh -huh. I can't know that just by me praying in tongues. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can't know that just by me coming to church and preaching. Yeah. I don't know I can know that by knowing him yeah. who yeah. made it accessible for me. Yeah. 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 And so the more that I know him, the more yeah. I know me, uh -huh. watching that, and I know more what I can have for what he gave me. Oh and so that becomes a reality that's so sweet to my human spirit that I can't help but to weep because that it's not just something I preach, uh -huh. not something that we do a class on, yeah. it's my life. Now watch now, we've been believing that for, for many years and preached for many years, but there's a there's a time that's called arrival. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. You follow me? Yeah. Now we can be in the car saying we're going to King's Dominion. No, 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 no. We can say we're going to Disneyland and it's going to take about 11, 12 hours to get there and we'll drive. But the whole time we're talking about what so we preach to each other. Yeah. Oh, okay. you know, I know I'm going to give you Mickey Eels, I'm going to give you a t shirt, and I'm going to ride on this, and I'm going to yeah. do this, I'm going to take pictures with Goofy and all that. We're talking about all the way to the next thing you know, you're there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Come on, Pastor. Just because you were not there doesn't mean that you were falsehood and falsehood talking about it. Because that's how you got there. That's yes. talking about it. Yes. And then you reach a place where it's called reality. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And the closer you get to what you're talking about, it becomes, it begins to speak to you on the inside of urgency. Yeah. And that's your focus. Come on, talk. That's that's your that's your your, your desire, man. You come that desperacy on the inside can live that. Because yeah. you just about there. Amen. You was tired, now you no longer tired because you just about there. Oh, Amen. Man, so we gotta understand this, man. <laughs> How do you keep on speaking it? We gotta keep on hearing it and keep reading the Bible so we can learn who Jesus is. Yeah. Jesus yeah. said this, he said, um, all you who labor and are heaven laden. Uh -huh. He said, you work and you can't find no rest for your soul. Uh -huh. He said, you you don't have enough money to retire. You don't know what the government's going to do because they are working on something in the economics uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. right, you understand what I'm saying? Now, and, and you, you're not meeting these. You just go out and work and get a check to keep the roof on top of your head. That's as far as you're going. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. Now, watch this now. He said, come on to me. He said, learn to me. Yeah, yeah. He said, learn who I am. Yeah. He said, take the personal responsibility to learn who I am. He says, because my yoke is easy, my burden is light. He said, I'll get rest unto your soul. Yeah. You know it's easier to make money than the way that you've been making money. Mm -hmm. It's an easy way to do it. And you know how to look at it differently. Mm -hmm. Don't look at just the Bible says this. He said, listen, either you're going to be the servant or you're going to be the master. Mm -hmm. You can't be yeah. both of them. Right. Yeah. You follow me? Mm -hmm. You can be the master over the money, and the money serve you. That means the money is working for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the world has taught us to work for the money. God said, no, I want the money to work for you. All right. He said, that's how you can work for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I understand what I'm saying. So this is important. So the more you work, you, you learn who Jesus is, you are now, you are his knowledge of him usher you into freedom. Mm -hmm. Knowing who he is ushers you into freedom. Mm 
Yeah. Let me say that again. Knowing who he is, usher you into freedom. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. You know, there's sometimes I want to pray in a certain way. God said, hey, let's, let's go down and let's get in the car and talk. He said, open up the sunroof and let's talk. Yeah. And so I, he gives, he ushered me into freedom. Uh -huh. He said, the same way that I lose power in you while you're laying there on your back or you're on your knees. He said, I can do that anywhere. Yeah. He said, just stay connected with me. He said, come learn me, ask me questions. He said, go into the word of God, make those confessions, and follow my lead. Yeah. He said, you follow my lead, and I'll open up a whole new world. So he's called the kingdom of God. Yeah. Matter of fact, watch now. The Bible says, Jesus said that the kingdom of God is what? At hand. That means it's accessible. Yeah. It's within reach. Yeah. Then he said the kingdom of God is what within you. Yeah. And the kingdom of God does not be in any place without its provisions there. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Right where you are right now, there's healing in this room. Yeah. 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 You can't see it because the kingdom of God is not with observation. Yeah. You can't see it. Right now in this room is all the gold, all the silver, all the finest, all the cryptocurrency you need is right now among you. But the kingdom of God cannot come without its supply, oh, without its provisions, oh, without its protection, yeah. without its prosperity. It's all around. He said, but the reason why you can't see it, he said, because your eyes are not opened up on me through the scriptures yet. All right, yeah. So you can behold them, but by faith. Okay. The faith is the substance of things, watch it now, oh, hope for, the yeah. evidence of things and what? Yeah. I okay, so how can I hope for something that doesn't exist? He said, you just don't see it. Yeah. But it does exist. Yeah. 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 But knowing me brings more clarity to your faith. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because you know what I did for you to have faith. Not only that, I gave you my faith so faith can see for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now faith can see for you and bring you what you don't see. Yeah. He said, the only thing I need you to do is to have hope. That's your inner science. That's a spiritual gift called hope. I want you to develop hope for through the word what I have done for you so you know what you can do for me. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. Glory. God don't want you to have this and such and such and so forth so you can have. He said, when you have, you're doing that for me. I take pleasure in your prosperity. Yeah. And now you become available and accessible for me to use you to be an extension of my love and be me in the earth. Yeah. Amen. But faith is your sight. All right. But faith cannot get clarity unless you focus on Jesus. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. When Peter sank when he was walking on the water, Jesus was still standing right there. Yeah. And the only reason why he, he, he began to sink is because he took his eyes off of Jesus. See, you know who you are when you keep your eyes on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. So we got to get away from church in the religious form. All right, all right. Okay, we got to get away from that. All right, all right. I'm talking about that. What is, that's not even a church. That's called a fellowship. All right. It's called a service. All right. Now we got to walk into the jurisdiction of the church. We're going to walk into the jurisdiction of the church until we know who Jesus is on a whole new level. Then we know who we are on that level. Because why? Wherever you know him, he cannot leave you behind. All right. Okay. Okay. You become what you know yeah. of him. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Praise All right. God. Now, let's go to Acts chapter 17. The book of Acts chapter 17. See, they're still working on something. Now, with this, we'll be teaching today. You're gonna to find yourself spending more time by yourself, but not alone. <laughs> uh, you got one. You got one. Acts 17, and let's um, focus here on verse 16. Can we have a say, amen. amen. See now, while Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was stirred in him when he saw the city wholly given to idolatry. Therefore disputed he in the synagogue with the Jews and with the devout persons in the market daily with them that met with him. Then certain philosophers of the Epicureans and of the Stokids, so it's, uh, encountered him. And some said, what will this black babbler say? Others some, he seemed to be a set of forth of strange gods because he preached Unto them Jesus and the resurrection. Notice how he preached to them Jesus and the resurrection. Uh -huh. 
Because that way you understand exactly who he is and what he did for us. Amen. Amen. Now, and verse 19, and they took him and brought him into the Areopagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine whereof thou speakest is. For thou bringest certain strange things to our ears. <laughs> we, we would know, therefore, what, what these things mean. For all of the atheists, some we get the atheists from, and the strangers which were with them spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing. Uh -huh. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, You men of atheists, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. Uh -huh. He said, You're too superstitious. So if I passed by and beheld your devotion, I found the altar with the inscription. To the unknown, unknown. God. Uh -huh. He said, now, he said, who therefore you ignorantly worship him, he said, declare I unto you. He said, now, now these people are atheists as well, but they, <clears throat> they love all these things of new doctrines and uh -huh. what's the latest and uh -huh. all these versions. Matter of fact, you got to be careful all those versions in the Bible, all those translations are not correct. Uh -huh. When you know Jesus, he'll tell you which one is. Amen. Uh -huh. I don't care what app you got on your on your phone, all those translations are not correct. Amen. Matter of fact, to me, the far as you can go from King James to the Amplified. Oh, <laughs> then the message sometimes you can pick or whatever go on. But you got you can't pull that thing and say, yes, no, you can't say all that. Amen. All is not correct. Yeah. Now watch this now. So he's talking about this unknown God, but he was still worshiping. He said, but he Paul said, you guys get on my nerve, but y'all know what y'all doing. Uh -huh. And you got to talk about the latest thing, who said this and how they said it. Everybody got this catchy phrase out. Everybody putting all these celebrity pictures out on Facebook with a quote and this and everybody sharing the tag. No, no, no. He said, no, no, no. You're doing something, but you're doing it ignorantly. Yeah. All right. And know what? He called it superstitions. Yeah. Uh -huh. When you look at the word superstition, you know what it means? It means your personal religion. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. A lot of people here today are superstitions. Now, what superstitious is this is when the natural set forth a method to receive results from the supernatural, oh. opposing yeah. receiving instruction from the supernatural to receive results. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's look at this. Some people think this, if I take this salt and I throw it over my shoulder, no, no, don't put it away. You know, ladies, when y'all go to a wedding and they take the guard off, you <laughs> know, yeah, yeah. You know, and you busting everybody up in the lift just to get something. You think if you catch that, you're going to get married. Mm -hmm. That ain't got nothing to do with you getting married. There you go. Okay. And women would tear their gowns off and they'll weave. They'll pay $250 for their weave and, and, and everything just to go out in that garment. But that doesn't mean you're going to get married. All right. All right. That's superstitious. <laughs> Don't want to walk on even loud. You think something bad going to happen to you. See, you determine the results. Right. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. That's superstitious. That becomes your religion. Yeah. Right. Let me take my money and let me, let me divide it and send it the way I want to send it. He said, that's superstition. That's your own religion. Mm -hmm. You think that if I so take my tithes and here, 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 and there, 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 and so forth, so forth. He said, and you think you'll get it. He said, no, no. It does how Pastor Perm talk to your local storehouse. That's, that's right. right. Amen. That's you right. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. See, you came to determine your own method how you will re receive results from the supernatural. Right. He yeah. who is supernatural determined by the teaching how you will receive results. Yeah. 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 Hey, are you understand what I'm saying? Amen. You Amen. pray for an hour. God Amen. gonna do this, and you superstitious. Yeah. Yeah. Cause God, what? He, God said this. He didn't say if you pray for an hour, I'll answer your prayer. He said you must believe when you pray. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. You know, yes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. while you yeah. pray, you gotta work yeah. on believing. Yeah. 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 He said, you know, it's, it's, he said you don't, on, you don't want to stay down in corporate America, oh. and you work to eight hours, you get paid, but you work eight hours and still ain't do nothing. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And your faith wasn't working. Yeah. So just just because you prayed it out don't mean that's an answer prayer. They said when you pray, believe why you pray. Don't clock it. Well, I must be at 40 minutes. Now I'm doing good. Come on, come on. We can make it. We can say in a marathon, bro. No, you got to you got to know him. Why if I say one thing, Lord, I thank you, and by faith, why that's greater than you pray an hour without faith. Ah, yeah. yes, yes. But when you know who you are, you know you already have the things that you petition yes, with him. Because yes. he loves you, because you're yes. prayed according to his will, oh, yeah. not according to your time. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So we have a lot of superstitious pre people who are saved. Because they're going around not understanding who this unknown God is. Right. 
Yeah, Paul's out sick of it. <laughs> he said, you're getting on my nerves. Amen. And when I get around people and they be talking about church and this and that, I said, man, I said, ah, stop it, man. Just stop it. You know, he said, I'll be in a place. He said, Irvin, you just sick. I said, no, no, no. I said, I'm, I'm healthy. He said, boy, you just crazy. I said, no, no, I'm in my right mind, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He said, boy, you just, I said, so funny. boy, you stupid. I said, no, I'm not. I'm as smart as a whip. I have his wisdom. That's right. That's right. I can't, I can't, where I'm at right now, I cannot allow any word to slip up That's in here because right. yes. of sociality, yes. because of socializing with somebody. Yes. Yes. I know who I am. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And if I know who I am, because I know who he is. Yes. You don't know who you are, you know who he is. Yes. And your life is here in Christ and Christ in God. Yes. And the more you get close to him, the more you get closer to yourself. Yes. Yes. See, you want to know who you are, you want to know your assignment for your life, get closer to him. And it, it will reveal itself. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But you got to surrender being you. <laughs> you got to surrender being you. got to stop being you and be the one who is in him. Yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. And you get everything mixed up. You want what was happening because the you, you you think you are is not the you you need to be. But the you, the you you need to be is the one who brings forth the results from him who called you. Yeah. My God. That's right. Good. <laughs> Amen. Okay, let, let's keep on reading this. Let's keep on reading this. So he says, you got this unknown God, then you got a place for him, but you don't understand what you're doing. He said, God that made the world, Paul said, I'm going to reveal it to you. He said, God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. All right. Neither is worship with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he given to all life. And to all breath and to all things. So I say life, life breath, breath, and all things. And, and had made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined the times before appointed and the bounds of the habitations that they should seek the Lord. You see that? He said that they'll seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him, go after him, have passion after him, and find him, though he be not far from everyone. Ain't that good right there? Yeah, right. He said, listen, he said, don't make it as a burden going out to God. Oh, I go and pray, but you know, if I ain't praying, I ain't Christian. I'm gonna feel bad with him by myself. Don't make it no, he said, you gotta feel after him. Yeah. I'm running after you. You know that song we sound? Yeah. I need to I was thinking the one you saw last year. <laughs> you running after God. He said, He said, seek me. He said, and feel for me. Come out. He said, No, he said, watch now. We open that bow. He said, get excited. He said, feel for me. Come out. You follow what I'm saying? He said, when you pray today, he said, don't just look, look, yesterday was good, but the day gonna be better. He said, feel for me. Come out. Come on after me. He said, well, I am not far from you. He said, I'm not far from you. He said, listen, and you'll come to me and I'll pull back some more. You come to that pull back some more. He said, but keep getting excited. Yeah. And get, get a desire, get emotions for going after him. He said, come watch that. I would never be far from, from you, yeah. but I have to take you to new levels. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I'm too big to be on the level that you found me. Oh. And stay there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So he takes us to a whole yeah. new level. Amen? Now, he says this. He says that. Ah, oh, yes. He says in verse 28, he said, For in him we live, in him we move, and have our beings, as certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. I mean, we get children. We, we pack his children. Amen. We his offspring. It's written right there in the Bible. He said, your poets also say that we are his offspring. And the way that Paul put this thing down, he said, because the reason why you fit over here and fit over there and, and searching Google for all this different stuff and who is Christ and all, he said, Jesus, I can introduce myself to you. Yeah. <laughs> if you come to me, I, I, I will introduce myself to you. Oh. Amen. And when you go after him, God will always show you something that you never knew before. Right. Amen. Yeah. So don't think you know God. Well, I've been walking with the Lord for, for many years. God said, yeah, I saw you. Yeah. <laughs> You've been walking for a long time. And he ain't saying nothing to me. God won't go away to the walk. 
Yeah. Yeah, some of you ain't gonna never see that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what I put. Me and God got, we got, we got, I would say we got history. Let's put it that way. <laughs> we, we, I've been, we, God say, I'm rocking with the Lord, amen. Because <laughs> how you be, you know, walking with the Lord all these years, you ain't got no results. No. He said, if you walk with me, you have to get it with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Said, oh no, I ain't smoked in 17 years. That don't mean you can walk with the Lord. A lot of people they ain't haven't smoked for 17 or have never smoked. Mm -hmm. But they're not walking with the Lord. So you just because you didn't smoke or didn't drink, don't mean you walk with the Lord. Right. Amen. Right. See, you know, I know I'm safe. Deep down. Oh, yes, I am. Because I ain't, I, I don't go no further than watching Andy Griffin. I don't watch all that, that sinful stuff y'all watch on television. I've been, me and the Lord been walking for 18 years, and God said, You ain't witness nobody, you have no answer prayer. And all you got is salvation. From the, from the initiation of salvation. Wow. You say, no, I, you don't know me. The reason why you, no, I'm not saying this. He said, the reason why you don't know me because you set the standards yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're the one who said you can't wear this dress. You're the one who said you got to put a dollar in. He said, you did all that and you blocked uh -huh. people from knowing me. Uh -huh. Jesus said like this. He said, you, he said, <laughs> you Pharisees, he said, you go way overseas <laughs> and convert a person, become be saved, he said, when you bring them over, they become twice a child of the devil it was than when you got them. Mm -hmm. He said, you prevent men from entering to the kingdom of God. He said, you strain at a net and you swallow a camel. Yeah. 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 That's what Jesus said. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus said, you will strain at a net and you will swallow a camel. Yeah. He said, but you messed them up and you blocked them from in and in. Why did you set your standards before mine? Mm -hmm. You put your agenda. He said, but if you knew me, you would have did none of that. Right. You would have hugged that prostitute. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on now. Come on, Tom. You would, you would spoke. Now. You would, you would say something to that person over there that was all drunk up and smoked up. You would have stopped. Yeah. If you knew yeah. me, you would have stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. 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 You would pick somebody up in your brand new car yeah. Yeah. instead of looking at me honk if you love Jesus. No, no, you would pick somebody up. Yeah. <laughs> Are you understand what I'm saying? So you set all these spans here. You criticize a family who's going through something, but they should be going through it because they, if they knew God, they would all this stuff be straight. Maybe, maybe because they know God and the devil don't want to get to that level. Maybe that's why all that stuff happens. You're in a battle right now. Just because everything going right when you're cheering your grandchildren, that doesn't mean that God ain't got his hand on somebody else's children. Right. Amen. You Amen. can't determine what his hand is Amen. doing Amen. based Thank on what's going on in your life. Thank you, Lord. You better hear me now. Thank you, Lord. You better hear me real good. Thank you, Lord. But this is important for you to know and get closer to God. But the more you, you get closer to him, the more you will know of yourself. Yeah. You'll take it to that one like that. Yeah. Are y'all getting anything out of this? Yeah. Amen. Amen. So let's look at this a little bit carefully, a little closer here in um, 17. Uh, no, not in 17. I mean verse uh, 28. When he says that, let me see, I got it right here. Okay, let me say it this way. Then. Let me say this in my suit for y'all. Ah, that's kind of like all the pause in that. So, in him we live, that means that we have a, a new way of living. We have this life washed down without limits. We have the full capacity of that. Then he says, in him, thank you, Holy Spirit, bring that to my remembrance. He said, in him, we also what? Move. Yeah. Watch this down. You have great endeavors that cannot be hindered. <laughs> Amen. In him, we live and move, and also we have our what? Our beings. Why that? You find out who you are. You be all that he is in you as you know, in him we live and move without me. Watch what, this, what man. He said, without you knowing me, you don't know how you can live, what you can do, and the access to life that you have. He said, he said, I don't care what college you go to. You go to college for 18 years, you still ain't going to know mm. until you come to me. Yeah. Mm. I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life. Mm. And in me, you live. Yeah. Outside of me, you won't. Inside of me, you move. You have your successful endeavors. Don't make this up. But outside of me, you won't. Why? Because you don't know that you can do it outside. And you can't do it outside. You're struggling. You're hustling. You're wishing. And you're why? When you know who Jesus is and who is he, you live from his inside out. Watch it now. You're no longer wishing. 
<laughs> you are now a person of hope. Mm -hmm. Amen. You are a person of hope. Because you already know what to expect. Because in here I live and move and I, I have my wings. Yeah. Yeah. So I have my healing. I have my prosperity. Mm -hmm. I have my wealth. I have all these things. Because it's in him. Yeah. Well, I got to get in there. How am I going to get in there? By his word. That's how you get in there. By his word. His word get in you. You get in there. He said, if you abide in my word, he said, then I abide in you. And you abide in me. Ain't that something? Yeah. <laughs> he said, because my word is the access to everything. You can abide in me by my word. Yeah. And I will abide in you. And I'll move through you. I'll live through you. I'll throw light through you. I'll, all these things I'll do. He said, but you got to know me. He said, I'm, I'm not a God who hates to spank you and beat you up. And then tell you all the things you did wrong. He said, I'm the one who's going to lift you out of that miracle, my, miry clay. He said, I'm the one who's going to take you to the next level. Man yeah. can never take you to the next level. He said, I will take you to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So in him, we live, we move, and we have our things. Nobody can stop us. Nobody. Nobody, no thing, no sickness. And no, <laughs> I was on right on way to church today. They were talking about the pandemic and all this stuff, so forth, so forth. God said, there is no more pandemic. The rest of it is oppression. <coughs> Went to the gas station this morning. Four dollars. Four dollars. Six cents. Praise God. We get paid for it. Amen. Amen. See, they're trying to oppress. And you get all upset. God said, but the reason why you get upset because you ain't living and moving and being in me. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. You follow me? <laughs> you, <laughs> that doesn't stop you filling your tank up with gas. Mm -hmm. Amen. So they're using all this stuff now, watch now, to be a parasite to make a ship, but there'll be no more middle flags. All right, yeah. yeah. Watch it now. So therefore, you make $100,000 a year, watch now, you are now low class. Mm -hmm. There'll be no more middle class. It's either the, the poor and the rich, the rich and the poor, there'll be no middle. Mm -hmm. That's the reason for this. Yeah. So you ask God, if you get close to him, Lord, how to position myself. Yes. I don't know nothing about this and that, that. God said, hey, you don't need nothing. He said, ask me and I'm going to bring you the company of knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, see, you, you just need to go to God and say, God, how do I get above this? Yeah. How do I live through this? How do I move beyond this? How do I be who you call me to be in all? When you go to him like that, boy, he ready to drop some wisdom, some understanding on you. Wow, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. But you won't get it. You try to be a knucklehead outside of grace. Mm -hmm. And number here is just I try to figure it out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, every every appliance or uh, electronics that you have at home has a one eight hundred number on the back of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They call it customer service. Yeah. So, so if you have a problem with something, you can just call that number. Now I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna take it apart. Mm -hmm. I'm put them all over here. And I'm figure it out. Uh, why try to figure out something that the knowledge is accessible? Mm -hmm. He said, let's look on the back. It's a <coughs> number said, it's a 1 800 123 4567. He said, call that number. That's right. You call that number, they'll tell you what to do. They'll mm -hmm. send you a link on your phone and show you how to lay it off. But I'm going to lay it off. No, put everything on the floor. Next thing you walk around, you kick something. Oh, what that screw? What that screw? That black screw. Black screw. It was black. 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 Because the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the knucklehead always try to figure out something yeah. that's already been figured out. Yeah. Yeah. And you ask God, how's the best way for me to do this? Show me how to do this thing. And he'll show you. No, he'll tell you, call that 1-800 number. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. So who like, I don't know about that kid. No, he said, no, you need to do that. Don't need no. He said, you need to go deep, deep, deep. He said, listen, come on, just call the number. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can pray the Holy Ghost for something else, but you need to call pray the Holy Ghost, but I got your eight hundred number right there. <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out supernaturally. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Hey man, people do that all the time. Yeah. You know, if I have problems with something, I'm done. You know who my one eight hundred number, I, I call one eight hundred perm. That's what I call. Uh -huh. I call Pastor I said, man, I don't know what I'm doing. I know you know how to do it. You know, put on your boot leg suit, come on over here. <laughs> I, I said, I don't know what I'm doing. You follow me? I don't know how to catch snakes. I don't know how to do that. He know how to do all this. I don't deal, I don't deal with snakes. They don't lie, plastic over here. I don't deal with them. I don't deal with them. I'm with you. I would run from a plastic snake as fast as I run from, from a real one. That's yeah. right. I'm with you. Yeah. No, you won't. I will leave you. <laughs> I was there what you said. You were yeah. with me. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Wawa the other day, and the lady, she, and the rest, she 
kept on looking, you know, behind me, looking at something, and she kept staring at everything, looking behind me. I'm like, I'm like, look here. She said, oh, I'm just, she told me she looked. I said, look, look, see, black people don't play that stuff. All right. Because <laughs> so you keep looking, and you keep looking, we don't know what you're looking at. We just gonna run. We just gonna run. We don't know. I'm not gonna ask you nothing. <laughs> I ain't gonna go over there and look. I'm looking at no, I'm gone, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I said, she could go one time, I'm gone. Leave there and there, but I'm still saying there for something. I ain't buying it, but she's like, just look at it. Oh, I don't I don't play that. Right. What's going on? <laughs> okay, let's get back to this. Inhale, we build and move, and we have our beings. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Look at this now. Let's look at um uh, let's look at John 8 31. The enemy was after me so much today. I said, Wow, what is going on? God said, Hey, he said, You know, you got the, you got the uh, final outcome, you got the victory. Matter of fact, Sean, the nice cup you gave me is just broke, but I don't, I don't know how it fell off. It was, <laughs> It's on the floor. <laughs> and in the trash can. <laughs> I mean, all kinds of stuff will just happen. I said, what is this attack that's going on? God said, the enemy is coming out for you. He said, but he can't have you. He said, stay focused. Because right. he's trying to distract you from knowing something that you need to know. But the Bible says that he said, draw not to God. Like he said, he said um, submit yourself to God. Uh -huh. He says now, resist the devil. Yes. And he will flee from you. Yes. Then God said, draw nigh to me, and I draw nigh to you. He yes. said, the devil is coming up because of your submission. Yes. Jesus. So he's trying to get in between you with something, because he knows if you begin to draw close, he knows I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's trying to get you to think about issues, thinking about this person and that person and all these different things. He said, this is your moment of closeness. Yeah, yeah. Are getting closer than you ever have been close before. He said, "This resist the devil, make him stop, push him out, and tell them you ain't doing nothing." Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You gonna get me another cup too? But that was my favorite cup. Mm -hmm. I was feeling a gangster. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. That's the way I feel about. You gonna get me another cup? Well, you gonna find a discount? Give me two of my. You know, the money gonna come. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's my tea cup. I like. I like to drink off that tea cup after serve. <laughs> Calm me down. Got the nerve. <laughs> and all this crazy stuff come. I said, oh, no, no, I ain't thinking this I ain't thinking that uh -uh, I'm drawing out of God after God drawing out of me I resist you, get out of my face I push you out of my face right. yeah. you Stand in front of me yeah. you don't, Well, you don't know You don't know that I know who I am Because in him I live and move when I have my being That's yeah. right Amen yeah. So when the devil comes with all this, with all this frustration comes, because he don't want you to go to that next level of knowing him. He wants you to think about children. He wants you to think about this and what ain't working right and this and all this and stuff like that. Then he want to break your cup too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, watch that. He can try to break my cup, but my real cup's still running. Home. That's right. That's right. Amen. Because Sean will buy me another one. All right. Thank you. Because she loves it. I love Sean too. I said she loved the pastor. You said amen. <laughs> oh, that thank you, Lord. <laughs> I said Sean loved her pastor. I said you're tough on the way. Oh, but you're supposed to say I love you too. I love you too. Yeah. Just tell me. Just tell me you love me. <laughs> I said, the devil got hurt too, no? <laughs> got my cup of ass off. Hey, <laughs> Let me stop. Let me go over here. Woo, Jesus. All right, John 8, right? right. John 8, 31. Watch this, man. Look at this. It's so vital. <laughs> he says that, Jesus said unto those Jews, which, are, which believe in his word, believe on him. If ye continue in my word, then are you my disciples. What? Indeed. Indeed. You see that? When we talk about getting to a place that's called in thee, the mm. only way you get to a place that's called in thee is by continuing in his word. Right. See that? By continuing in his word. He said, and you shall, what? Know the truth, and the truth do what? Thank It'll you. make you free. So I don't care how sick you are right now, you got to continue in a word of healing until you know it. Yes, yes. Because once yes. you know it, it's a whole new reality, and that'll make you free from sickness. Amen. I remember one, when I died over there in Haiti two years ago, and all I had was Charles Cap and 
Uh, what's the guy named? Um, uh, grandfather, called grandfather of faith. Uh, what's his name? Come on, y'all, y'all know. Um, King of Hagen. King of Hagen. King of Hagen. Uh, and, um, oh, God, everybody come. I see the face and everything. Kim Copeland. That's all I had. Play it on television. Kim Hagen. I ain't have, I ain't have no medication. <laughs> you follow know what I'm saying? And I had this cubby, you know, where you, you, know, you have your uh, microwave and you put your clothes. And I had this little cubby. And God said, stick your head in the cubby. You know, when you a certain shelf, you can, I stick my head in the cubby. He said, make confession. I made confession, and the acoustics of it was just going around my head. I said, by a strike from you. And I can hear it in a different sound, and it just, it just, watch it, it just, it just pushes its way into my mind. Acoustics. And I spent a lot of time, my head in that cubby, speaking scriptures until reality came. Now, sometimes you can, you can hit in and out of reality. But at least you know how to get back into it. Yeah. yeah. Amen. And that, watch now, and that truth made me free from that COVID um, coronavirus. Oh. Or whatever was trying to kill me. That truth made me free. Yeah. yeah. Amen. That truth made me free. Yeah. Yeah. But you yeah. gotta you gotta say, oh, I still don't feel it yet. No, baby, some things you gotta work on to inform. I know this is all that I have. Yes, yes. You follow what I'm saying? This is all I got that really works. Now, we thank God we have medicine and stuff here, but pray over the medicine, but stay in the word continually. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just don't lay up in the bed. I still feel sick. No, no, don't, don't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, do what you need to do on the outside, but get that word circulating in there and start keep on confessing. Yeah. But that takes too much work. Okay, but how many hours you work a day on your job? Yeah. All right, amen. No, no, forget that. How many years you've been working? Amen. And you still have not arrived to where you want to be financially. Yes. You mean yes. to tell me you are not worth spending an hour, a couple of hours a day in the Word to get free? But you work eight hours a day in 40 years to stay in bondage? Let's get real with it. Yes. I don't feel like it when you, just, you, ain't, you ain't ready yet. You just don't want it. Amen. And just like most people that come into business with me, I said, listen, if I, I want to bless you with someone, you first will have to read. If you read these books, we can work on something. You don't know enough to get what you want. Right. Wow. So you have a different mentality on the side, and you don't want to do enough to get it. Wow. But you got to be transformed in order to have it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You have to be transformed to have it. So even when you start on your job, they train you. They give you a knowing, a knowledge of who they are, you know, the company policies, and all these different things, classifications, and, you know, what you call it, uh, uh, you know, your benefits and so forth, and then you was on probation. That's right. That's right. Are you understand what I'm saying? They said, if you do this, we'll help with Social Security and this and jobs, you know, vacation and all that. No worries. They said, you, you know who we are. We control your life. We tell you when you can go to your daughter's recital. I'm going to make some mad now. <laughs> and when, if you can go to the fourth funeral this month, Oh, you can't go this month, but you'll be too many this month. But that's my that's my favorite person. Sorry, you ain't going. You got to watch it on, on live or stream or something. You can't go. Why? Wow. You took too much time. You understand? See, when we train you to live here, not out there. Yeah. I'm going to make you bad yet? Yeah. Let me make you look bad here. Watch yeah. And we're going to give you a full 1K. And then we're going to take that money and we're going to flip it. We're going to put it into trades. And we said we match it, and we're not matching. We just put it in the trays and take the profit saying that we're matching it. They ain't matching it with their money. They match it with your money. Come on. All right. That's right. Yeah. And then we're going to break it down. The time you do get it, the $490,000 is only half power for $120,000. All right. Yeah. 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 And if you want to borrow from your own money, we're going to penalize you. All right. right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Because we ain't teach you to live your life. We teach you to live like we want you to live. You right. Are you mad now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Now you need to sit on the sixth row, man. You must come out. See, see that reality got you in there, and that fifty thousand dollars you got saved in the bank. You think you're Rockefeller? No, you're not. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You gotta go to God. God show me what to do with this. God show me. Yeah. Teach me, Lord. Because yeah. all is about to show. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Lord, show me what's going on in the earth. 
But God said, listen, this ain't below me. You ask me what I'm going to do, what's happening on earth. You say, I won't hide it from you if you're a person of comfort. Amen. Yeah. But see, you'll know the truth. And the truth will make you free. Yeah. And Jesus also, he said, in these times, you're going to be perilous times. More things are going to happen. He said, but don't you worry about it. He said, just don't you get all twisted up with what's happening in the world. He said, but you just in it. Yeah. But if you don't know, if you're not in me, why should that be? You're going to be in the world. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. In the system. Yeah. Amen. And watch, Jesus even said like this. He said, when it came down to money and taxes, he said, who is this scripture that says on here? He said, see, when he just paid taxes to him, you know, so we won't offend him. He said, but, but he said, but listen, you understand? He said, render the Caesar the things of Caesar, but render to God the things of God. Yeah. Amen. He said, therefore, he said, look, he said, take a hook, cast out the water, the fresh fish come out. Well, I said, he said, um, he threw a line out there. He said, therefore, you take the gold out of the mouth. He said, go pay the taxes. Yeah. That's not amazing, because there was a tax problem. And and Peter talked to Jesus about the, you know, the taxes and so forth. And Jesus said, listen, if you render to God what's God, he said, take care of your taxes. Yeah. Yeah. He created online banking. Just do a line out there. Oh, yeah. That's right. Are you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But you got to connect to who he is to know who you are and what can happen in your life. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Go to the next level. Somebody say next level. Next level. Yeah. Did you get anything out of that? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't let the job rob you from your life. Okay. I'm just working so my children have a better life. Wait a minute, but Jesus, I, I died so you all can have it. He said, he said, when did you become Jesus? Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to, I just don't want no life. I want my children to have the best, the best. I said, I can do for you, your children, your grandchildren, your grandchildren. He said, but you, 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 you ain't in me. You are in yourself. Yeah. But if you get in me, you found you are already rich and provided for. Yeah. And I'll show you the path to life to you and your children. All you can have a plethora of wealth yeah. and be distributors and you can live your dreams. But if you locked in the knowledge of your job, he says there's no room for me to fit my who I am in you because you're too busy that I can finish working. You got the rest. Because right, yeah. he said, listen, you are heavy laden and burdened. All of you keep working, but you're not arriving. Uh, uh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. He said, seek me for a plan. He said, because I know how to prosper you. Yeah. Not only just that, he said, and I can bring you to a place. Uh, he said, I'm the God who prophet. Not a, not a prophet like the ones that just said, Lord, P-R-O-F-I-T. He said, I'm the one who brings you prophet. Yeah. Hey, that's something. Uh -huh. I like that. That's a sweet deal to me. God said, I can bring forth your profitability. I can bring forth prophet for you. Mm -hmm. Or it does say, no, he said, no, I ain't telling you prophet. I said, I can bring forth prophet. He said, I'm a God of prophet. I can teach you how to profit through prayer, how to profit through tithing, how to profit through sowing, how to profit through giving to the poor, how to profit through to, you know, get, receive innovations. I'm the one who's going to profit you that your, your streams will be like a mighty, constant flowing river, and so that even all your, even your children can prosper from that river. Yeah, yeah. But he said, if you don't know, maybe you look for other ways to get profit. So you go here, you work, you go here, you do this, you do that. God said, that ain't the way I want you to profit. All right. He's a God of profit. I'm got real quiet. So no quiet. I'm glad I got your attention. Because he wants your spirit to open up and praise and worship. God said, then go in there and do surgery. Yeah. Yeah. You thought you could still have chill bumps and see visions and stuff. Now because I don't care how I don't care how deep you were, I don't care how much how much tears you had, that's still some working on the inside, they uproot that superstitious that you have. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. You think it's just going to happen because you love God and God loves you. God said, now that's a knowing that I need you to execute yeah. to get to that level. But you, too many people are fearful of receiving the instruction from God who can profit you. Yeah. Yeah. You can't say, God, I love you, but here's my plan. Mm -hmm. That'll never work. Right. That's how I want it done, God. God said, well, you need to go talk to somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not how we do it. Amen. And you'll love the knowledge that you receive from God, knowing him, and then knowing, watch now, who you are in Christ Jesus. I'm going to tell you something, Pastor Jones. When God called me, I listen, I was still trying to call myself. I didn't, put away, I didn't, I didn't receive myself yet. All right. And oh, God told me, I think for two years, or for about three years, every day I went to the mirror, um, Mr. Sean, he said, look at that mirror and call you what I call you. Mm -hmm. I had to do that for three years and went, boom, the one day that I showed up. Right. He said, I call you something, you call yourself something else. Mm 
You got to call you who I call you. Yeah. Amen. But know what they were trying to do? They said, listen, just because I was from the street, they said, listen, this is your calling. Your calling is that you're going to minister to the jails and minister to drug addicts. Mm -hmm. And have the Bible studies. Mm -hmm. But how? Well, wait a minute. How can you determine what my call is? That's well, right. God told me something else. That's right. See, people who have not received their call uh -huh. will always try to make your call small. Because they haven't received their call. Right. So they will make sure you don't do anything that you become watching that noticeable. Mm. <laughs> and now if I would have stuck with what they said, man, I would miss out on all this joy that God has given this amazing life to do the things that we're doing around the world. All right. Yeah. But see why I received my boldness in him. Yeah, yeah. I had to keep going to him and not just say, Lord, bless my children, bless my bless my work, bless my car, bless my cat, my goldfish. I get to bless, Lord, who am I? What am I supposed to do? He said, come over here. Yeah. yeah. But Lord, I want to say, but come over here. But mm -hmm. well, God, he said, come over here. And as I kept getting close with God and asking questions, boom, watch now. Then the instructions and the opportunities and the, the endeavors keep increasing. He keep on providing. Yeah. Yeah. Keep on doing it. And then he tell me to hurry up because there's something else he wants me to do. Right. He said, you're taking too long with that. Well, hurry up. <laughs> I got something else I want you to do. But God, that's too much. He said, there's no such thing of too much when I have grace for you. Yeah. All right. When I have grace on you, Superman can catch one lady that's falling and they go catch a cat over here and then zoom over this way and they catch him. Whoever he need to catch him, put out a fire, blow up something. What? He can do all those things because he got a super on him. All right. When you got the soup on, you came up to God, it's too much. It's only too much if you don't have the soup on. All right. All right. That soup is that anointing. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right. So God said, don't even try to sit there and, and, and write out everything you're doing. He said, Cause mess your mind up. All right. yeah. Just All right. keep doing the next thing I call you to do. Amen. Just stay focused and stick with me. Amen. He said, not only just that, listen to him very carefully. Not just stick with him, but get excited with him. Amen. Get excited that you're going to know something great of him. That he didn't know before, and that's going to it's going to reveal you. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Because look, 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 watch this now. I haven't got so excited about my my public pulpit, the internet, because you know, I was coming out of the, the coffee shop, and this guy he has a Down syndrome. He like to hug on people, talk to them, and everything. And I was you know, doing business and everything, and he kind of knows me. I was saying, let me, let me not be disturbed right here. Let me finish this all. Let me get to the car. And God said, go back in there. He said, God, I said, see you, buddy. Good to see you. I love you now. And God said, go back in there and look at him. And I looked at him. That was it, man. Mm. He was waiting for my love. Yeah. God said, look at him. He said, he had his head. He had nobody to talk to him. He said, I'm bubbling up on the inside. Yeah. He said, now you go. And I said, oh, God, that's precious. So you can go over there and give that boy a hug. I went over there and gave him a hug, and he hugged. He said, yeah, man. He said, you're coming back tomorrow, and so forth, and so forth, and et cetera, et cetera. I said, man, I might be somewhere else. I said, look, you have a good day, man. He was waiting on that hug. Yeah. I'm going to be a minister to him like that in public. And he was loud about it, too. Uh -huh. Amen. I said, oh, God, man, I feel like you right here. God is real good. Not just giving you a hug and bars loud. I felt the love of God flowing. Then I went to another place, your place, uh, what do you call it, the Central Park um, Deli. And then God told me where to go. I went over there and I got me. I thought he just wanted me to satisfy me. And then this guy come out of nowhere and said, Hey man, I like cars. I said, oh, here we go. <laughs> he said, I really like your car. He said, Boy, you got some money to show uh, Italian white guy and everything. He had a pretty clean, uh, probably a 20, 2021 or 22 Lincoln. That thing was nice, boy. I said, Why are you looking at my car? I said, your car is nice, too. I'm still trying to get that because, you know, the fries don't say one for so long. You know what I'm saying? I just being real with you. You follow me? I'm just being real with you. You know, I got some nice big fries. But, yeah, let's go watch it now. So he just kept on talking and everything. And he said, you know, um, he said, um, he said, you know, a guy gave me some scriptures one time. I said, oh, here we go. Head on. Time to be super. Yeah. You follow me? He said, I lost them. I said, I got out of the car. Then he started coming closer to me. I said, it was in Proverbs, it was in Psalms. And I began to share with him why it was in Proverbs and Psalms. 
Mm. And we begin to talk, we begin to talk. He said, man, I had brain surgery, my head is all messed up, and this and that. Then his wife got out of the car. And we started, we talk about 40 minutes. Mm. I laid hands on him, prayed for him, show my tattoos and all that stuff. You follow what I'm saying? But, but I was doing Jesus work out there. Yeah. I was getting excited about it. Yeah. You know, because what, what I'm saying is that what we're doing here is this and here. Mm -hmm. But our real work is continually out there. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. And while we were just talking, I said, God, that's the best conversation. I, I said, Lord, I want to see him because he got my telephone number, you know, church and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? We were planning on fishing. He's an older dude, but he got in a, in a, he had a brain surgery. I don't know where he was an actor. I said, man, your mind is still good. I said, Jesus, speak for that thing right now. I said, just be quiet for me. You're talking to me right now. Let me pray for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've been getting to talk to his wife and so forth and so forth. And watch this. And you know, in Central Park Delhi, you know, you're right in front of everybody can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody can see. Yeah, yeah. That's come from knowing more Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Knowing more Jesus. Yeah. And guess what? My guy on the fries is still warm. <laughs> That's knowing Jesus. Okay. <laughs> hey man, when you have a sub, you want everything to be bound about you, but my stuff got to be right. You can't have this, you know, you got to be right. <laughs> but I'm saying that because we're missing out on life and we're missing out on him. Yeah. Yeah. And I ain't talking you did this. And Pastor, I did. No, there's a there's a there's a newness. <laughs> there's a reality, something comes out of you. You follow what I'm saying? Something that something that triggers on the inside of you, that you're no longer the person you used to be, you are, even though you did these things before, but now it's on a whole different level, a whole different reality, and watch that, and the people out there that smoke and drink and cuss, like he was cussing sometimes, I said, it's all right, bro, it's okay, you know, no, no, you cuss from me, I'm a man of God, man, listen, that's when you talk, that's when you talk, but yeah. after you finish talking, you may not be talking like that no more, yeah. Yeah. Right. you might be just talking in tongues, amen, amen, amen. I said, no, I got no, you messing with my anointing. I got to protect my anointing. No, you don't. The anointing protects you from that. That's right. That's right. Coach, he said, I want to say, oh, no, you cussing, you drink. I can't say you messing with my anointing. Mm. Oh. He's still saved in the house. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's you got to know how to love those people mm -hmm. and love them. And I made it my business not to pass by a love opportunity. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I don't know how to get back to where we started before that, but I think we just go ahead and stop. But just grow in God's grace. Amen. Be rich in him and let him be rich in you. Let him bring the abundance in your life and get rid of the fear of being successful. Because right. if you're living in him, you're moving in him, and your existence is in him. I don't care if you let you down as long as he don't live, need you, leave you, and you're still in him, you're going to be better than you were than you thought you were with other people. All right. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Can I be released now, y'all? Yeah. Amen. Come on, stand your feet. Let's give God some praise in here. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Feeling Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Knowing myself by knowing more of Jesus. Yeah. yeah. You know, that wasn't, that title didn't come until this morning. And that's just Acts 17 didn't come until this morning. That's why I said take you never knock on that door, but you never know what you might be interrupted. <laughs> Amen. 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 You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's so important. And God's gonna preach on prospering or make a part three. You said, no, tell me if you know me that know yourself. You're greater than what you see. You're greater than what you have. But you never know what you see until you get in him. Deeper. Yeah. Deeper than before. Yeah. Even in your even in your little mess ups, God is in you still can work with him. He still will work with you. Yeah. Never bounce out of him because you made a, a mistake of your forgiveness is in him. Yeah. Yeah. It's not in what you do out, it's out of him to make up for it. Thank you. And too many people trying to make up for it. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. It's in him. Yeah. The abundance, the wisdom, the righteousness, the revelation, all of that is in him. So I want to charge you today. Spend more time listening. To the, the messages and take the notes and talk and fellowship with God. Don't just say, I, I heard it the fourth time. I got three more to go. No, just walk with Him. Because, yeah. see, if it's real to you, you have to go back and revisit it maybe next year or next month. Yeah. But let Thank it lead you, you to it. Hallelujah. I'm not going to give you no brownie points or a star or badge or you just read and listen to it seven times. No, all right. No, He's going to take you to the next level. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I pronounce the blessing of Abraham on your life. 
I pronounce a hunger and thirst after righteousness right now. Before I decree this, let you be bolder than any lion, than a lion itself. You have confidence like never before. You will never be intimidated over anything because you can do all things in Christ Jesus for sure. And wherever you are in right now, right now you're coming out of it right now in Jesus' name. And what you couldn't do, what you couldn't pay, what you can't have, right now you can do it, you can pay it, and you can have it in Jesus' name. All because of him, because he loved you so very much. There'll be no weak, there'll be no sick, and there'll be no feeble among us in Jesus' name. I call money into your life that you cannot count in Jesus' name. I say, I call money into your life that you cannot count in Jesus' name. I say, I call money into your life that you cannot count in Jesus' name. Opportunities come to you. Wisdom, open doors come to you. The full manifestations of the blessing of Abraham abide upon you and your household. Walk in. Walk word of this vocation Lord, thank you. by knowing who he is. Amen. Walk by yourself, but not alone. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Be blessed. Let's give God some praise. Amen. Amen. Woo! My, my, my. Glory to God. And if you're here, you have need of prayer, you can come to the altar if you have an extended need of prayer. If you're viewing us today, you never confess Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior. The Bible says, the day you hear his voice, it's in heart and not your heart. So I want to pray with you the prayer of salvation. It's simply this. Say, Father, in Jesus' name I come, and I repent of my sins, and I confess my sins. And I believe in my heart, and I confess with my mouth, that you sent Jesus to die for me, for my sins and all my trespasses. And that you raise them from the dead for my justification. That I stand Amen. right and pure Amen. in your sight as Adam was before he fell. Amen. So therefore I believe I receive, I confess. Therefore I am a child of God. You are my father. And by your spirit that dwells with me, teach me, lead me, and guide me to all truth. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer sincerely or you returning your relationship back to God, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Let's give God praise for them in Jesus' name. Amen. And therefore, contact us and we'll give you some informational tools that'll help further your decision that you made today. We love you so very much. And if that's there coming for prayer, you come on right now in Jesus' name. We're gonna pray for you. Y'all be patient. Amen. We'll pray for you in Jesus' name. Somebody say signs, wonders, and miracles. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord. Father, we just thank you, Father God, for the direction, for the clarity to make this plan plain. Plain, Lord God, that the enemy cannot be prepared. Lord, we thank you. You know it, we come to a place called peace. It's the other life. We acknowledge you in this way to be and to direct Jesus' name. We acknowledge you. And plain and simple, it's a need to be. Close in deep into him and build your faith up. And go on that scripture that you spoke with our followers. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. You want to join out this church? You sure? That's good. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the city. <laughs> Amen. Oh, yeah, that's a fancy clap. That's thank you. Everybody can do it. Everybody, would you ever got your hand? Put it down. Come on, everybody, sit on their feet right quick. If you can, take your hands like this. On the count of three, we're just going to do it like a thunder. One, two. <laughs> Amen. You receive your Jesus name, and today you receive more clarity in your sight. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you right now. This is easy peasy. I rebuke the scales of blindness from your eyes, and I command light. Vision to come upon you now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Love you, man. Love Thank you. It's an honor. It's an honor. It's an honor. She's going to give you to the right person and collect your information, and we'll continue to work with you and build your faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's receive him again in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, I think that concludes our service for today, other than um, on the 15th of this month. This is May the 1st, right? Yeah. The 15th of this month, and this whole ministry is going to shift. It's going to start at 9 o'clock in the morning. Spiritually, we will shift. It's going to be a powerful service and so forth. Keep praying, keep doing, keep going forward. And um, we want to make sure that we are. Is that something for Mother's Day? We're going we're gonna to do something for Mother's Day. I don't know what we're going to do. Well, all these mama, but I love it. Cause these mama ain't gonna hurt me up because I ain't. <laughs> we're gonna do something. Just give me a minute, all right? We're gonna love on you somehow. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna honor you. Uh, we appreciate you so very much. God bless you. Um, I don't. And other. And also, we're, we're not gonna do June right now. I'm, talk, I'm not gonna talk about June right now. But let's, let's get it set for this month. Let's have some great expectations. Let's keep bringing people in. Some awesome things gonna happen. Love on your neighbor. Let's see yourself this month. Amen. 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 Amen.